got the onion rings, didn't you? Got it, got it. Have you got the nuggets? I took it too. What about pistachios? And what about beer? You forgot it, didn't you? Don't insult me! A lot of things happen after a series of accidents. And no matter how you plan your actions, Roman, they rarely predictably lead to defeat. So, I can't blame you. That pistachios you forgot at the cash desk. Damn, how long it will be going on? You pissed me off with those pistachios already. I'm sure you didn't plan it. Although, your defeat was predetermined by fate, because you're a bunker. <clears throat> but for us, my mortals, it was just an accident, right? <laughs> predetermined or accidental, make up your mind. Everything was predetermined, from the moment you started drunk. <laughs> Fuck you. Actually, going forward was your idea and your stupid store. Firstly, don't put the blame on me, it have no sense. I just suggested. You agreed. And forgot the pistachios there. Exactly you. And secondly, can the idea of going out for beer be malicious at all? I bet it always happens unintentionally. I can say. It's a coincidence. Your idea to go out for a beer is a coincidence? And my agreement is a fate? Oh, how hard are you? Your resourcefulness is insidious. Specially distracted me at the cash desk. What about you? Don't you have a strong desire to chat? To share emotions when positive events suddenly cover you? Share your luck with someone over a glass of beer. With a beer it has nothing to do. It has. I'll formulate. Dark experience of the past taught me never share my successes with people who are in a bad mood. It threatens all sorts of trouble. At some point, Roman, I realized a very simple truth. People don't drink beer in a bad mood. But we were here. And this thought led me to a very simple and elegant solution. If you offer to drink beer, people in a bad mood always refuse an offer for various excuses. The satisfied filter works amazingly. Mm-hmm. The main thing here is, don't we do it with quantity. When a person is in a state of deep good humor, super it infuriates. <laughs> Both sides suffer. A wall of misunderstanding grows with two opposites. Then those very fast ones start to piss off those of the other side. Yeah, conflicts begin, problems with the law. But the laws have reason for the sober, <laughs> so it's so difficult for nation of evils and laws in which in their opinion are written in a very bad mood. <laughs> and what do you suggest? Possibly sins for beer or lawmakers? So that those and idea would destroy the boss of misunderstanding the parts. <laughs> no, no, no. In no way am I getting lawmakers to maliciously crusade for beer. Hmm. Beer is very frivolous drink. Inadvertently passing laws instead of deep humor can cause detriment so much. Those people whose mood doesn't depend on how much beer they drunk. Or maybe to harm people who have already poisoned mood. And do not forget the interests of minorities.
You're sitting like a bench, you eat. You sit like really like a statue. That's not ma. What? I mean people who don't go for beer at all, according to the religious or some of the beliefs. Okay, let's accept the fact that they exist. And we have no more rights to fence them off with empty bottles. Do you remember what you said to those teetotalers? Tolerance is not your forty. What teetotalers? Who packed us into the us? <laughs> and them too. <laughs> I assure you, Marima is not contained with the side to offend anymore. <laughs> At least it seemed to me so. But the reaction followed immediately. <sighs> Why do you need this cudgel? Take your medicine! As if someone could be offended by this. Fuck it, it doesn't matter. People with a limited sense of humor didn't stay at our meeting anyway. Well, why are you surprised? After rest, all the false sense of humor didn't stay with us. <laughs> Interesting, but. By the way, we were detained then. Definitely by people without a sense of humor. Because someone loves beer too much. <laughs> no, my friend, you're wrong. I do not love beer. I love people with a good mood. You drink less and there will be more of them. <laughs> By the way, these touches I took away. What a jerk you are! <laughs> so you've been poking fun at me all this time. <laughs> You should have seen your face, <laughs> it was working. <laughs> In fact, you stole my pistachios, guilty on all counts. <laughs> the pistachios were not stolen, I just borrowed them. Oh, how much injuries you need to have? So much time to marinate these pistachios. My new. Pistachios are a dish best served with cold. Well, what are you taking revenge for? If it would be for that, I would leave them at the cash desk. It's some... some kind maniac! You're repeating yourself. Yeah, I really have no words. Well, they will pass the down then. Let's see, it's not evening yet. Relax, what can go wrong? Well, if you quit your habit of explaining to law enforcement what we need to do with their night's team, then perhaps we can really live painlessly until the end of the weekend. <laughs> Young people, it's forbidden to rock here. Dad, we have a problem. 